Alright guys, your boy is back and you can tell by the title that today I'm going to be showing you exactly what I bought at Anime Expo 2018. And basically, uh, I bought quite a bit, but my card did get declined like three times. I'm not sure why, I still had like 500 and something dollars left in it. So I could have kept buying more, but for some reason it's getting declined. Uh, my credit card only had $2 left and I think I only had like 25 or $30 in cash. So I was like, alright, I can't buy anything anymore. So. So I didn't get, well I got quite a bit, but I didn't get as much as I would have liked to spend. Which is probably a good thing in the long run because you know I save money like that, but it is what it is. Anyways, uh, let's get started into what I bought. Hold up. Because I'm using my right hand to hold the camera and because I don't have a stand, unfortunately. And um, so I'm just going to get things with my left. So the first thing I bought is a Kanan Nezzleberry. As you can see, I already have a Mari Nezzleberry, so I was like, you know what, I'm going to get Kanan because you already know. Uh, they're the greatest to ever do it and this one cost me about $35 I believe and I believe it was also the last one it was hanging on the hook in the back and I was like all right I'll, I'll probably get it but I didn't get it until like we were on our way out of the expo I'm like can I get it and it's like the last one so fortunately I was able to get Kanan and the next couple things I got hold on you got to give me a second as I move everything to the right slightly so I have an easier hand reach so the next thing I got was, not really in particular order actually, I got, as you can see, I got Rico from, what's it called, Love Life, they're, they're all from Love Life pretty much, most of my stuff is from Love Life except for two figurines out of the three, which I just told you what I got, but yeah, I got a smaller one obviously, I always like these, but they're kind of hard to find for some reason, I struggle to find them on Amazon, maybe I'm not searching hard enough, but anyways, I got Rico, I got um, Hanamaru, and then I got even smaller one, Mari, you already know, best girl, and I got a smaller version of Kanan, as you can see, hold up, let me just move this over here, so yeah, I got two, well, they're all small, except for Kanan, obviously, the big Kanan, uh, they're all small, but for some reason, the Mari and the Kanan are smaller than the Hanamaru and the Riko, so they all costed me together 20 40 60 80 dollars they're 20 dollars each which at first wasn't too bad because uh i was just walking with christian and i spotted i believe i spotted is either hanamaru or rico i spotted them and i'm like you know what i'm a cop real quick because it was just one i believe it was hanamaru and then right next to hanamaru i found a rico hiding underneath uh the other ones there was who was next to hanamaru I'm not sure, there was, I think it was Chica, yeah, there was a bunch of Chicas, one Hanamaru, and then a Rico hiding underneath all of them, and uh, I really liked how Hanamaru looked, and I found Rico, I'm like, oh, this one looks cute too, so I was like, alright, I'll get that one, so, and I found Mari separate, so, Mari and Kanan in a different stall, or a different booth, I guess you could call it, so I got them in different spots, so I'm gonna move these behind so I can make more room for the other stuff, and so next things, next, uh, We'll start with the figurines, but I'm going to put them down. So, in terms of figurines, actually, no, I'll open the figurines last because I'm going to open them up for you guys and stuff. So, that being said, let's, this should be easy to do. I bought three cards, all right? I bought three cards, and the first card that I bought was a Yo. You already know it only costed me like $2, so it was nothing expensive. Same with Ruby and Rico. They were all like $2 each, I think. Uh... I'm pretty sure there were two dollars each. They were either two or one. I'm pretty sure there were two. But then, you already know I had to do it. I got Shinobu, which actually ended up costing me eighteen dollars. I was like, holy shit! I think send you, there was a Senju Hara, and I was I asked him, and I don't know if he said twenty or thirty. And I was like, that's too much to spend on a card. And then I ended up getting Shinobu, which is only three dollars less if it was twenty. So that didn't make too much sense. But I'm gonna go ahead and put them in my binder where. I keep all my cards and I'm just gonna move this over here. Move these cards over here and I'll show you guys all the, my stuff at the end, like all zoomed out and stuff. And the next thing I bought, well, like I said, this is no particular order that I bought these in. I got two keychains, you already know, because uh, I already have one, but you know, it's great. It's better to have more because I can switch them off like every couple months. I got best girl Ellie and I got second best girl Rin and they were $10 each. And the deal was buy five and you get a discount and they come out to like uh, nine dollars each yeah so if i would have bought all nine muse girls 
Uh, that would have came out to $81, and yeah, that was not a great idea on my part. So I actually thought about it. I was like, maybe I should, maybe I shouldn't, and I ended up, I'm like, you know what, not 20 is just fine, because I ended up actually getting, hold on, let me see where I can put these. Actually, if I just move Kanan just a little bit to the right, just a little bit, I can move. There we go. Actually, you know what? I got the perfect idea. Hold it. Never mind. Okay. All right, I can't do it. I was going to stack them on top of each other, and I can't do it with just one hand, so... I'll just do this and I'll move these two over here. So the next thing that I got the same keychains, the keychain spot is this stand for Toru. You already know. Um, hold on, let me see if I can open it up and display it for you guys. Uh, this one ended up actually costing me $35, which was quite a bit. There was a Kana, no, not Kana, Kana, what's it called, stand. And, um, I was also 35, there was two of them, but I ended up going with Toru instead because I prefer Toru over Kana, but Kana is also a great pick as well. So hold on, let me see if I can get this down. If I can get this open. Hold it, hold it. <sighs> Yo, how many? Oh, okay, I kind of. Mm, let's open this up first. I should really be doing this with my right hand just because I'm a right-handed person. But I guess this will help me be ambidextrous. Not really because you know it's only once that I'm doing this. Hold on. Gotta use my mouth to get this out. Alright, so you already know we got the stand. I believe Toru goes in the big one. Uh, this is gonna be tough. All right, hold up, hold up. Hold up. All right, this is gonna be tough. I'm just gonna edit this part out. And just like that, I got it. Fixed. So you see, it's basically a stand, and it says Toru and stuff like that. And that's how it was at the when I first bought it. And they give you an extra one, so that's pretty cool, I guess, in case that one breaks or something. So I'm gonna go ahead and move this down, move this down, and put Toru in the bag. Hopefully I remember to actually edit all of them and it'll make the video a bit shorter. The next thing I want to say I got, <sighs> damn, I'm going to have to move stuff. Actually, you know what? It's fine. I got a Little Witch Academia book. I don't actually know exactly what this says because it's all in Japanese. Everything's in Japanese. Except literally the only thing that's not in Japanese is obviously the name Little Witch Academia. It's a chronicle. And... If I recall correctly, the table of contents are actually translated just a little bit there. But after that, it's not. But you know, I just like having things like this. So I went ahead and bought it. I believe this cost me $18. So it wasn't so bad, you know. It's kind of awkward to purchase this because like the cashier was on the other side of the booth and this was on a wall away. And honestly, going over there, um, I felt like it would be extremely easy for people to hit a lick on stuff. Cause there's like not that many people watching and it's like you can just kind of like grab stuff. It would be, I think it would be super easy to hit a leg. Obviously I'm not gonna do that. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and put this down here because I still need this area available so I can show you more stuff. The next thing I wanna show you guys is this light pen. And I got a bit of a, well, I got a bit of a story for this one. So it's great. And basically check this out. Wait, did it turn on? There we go, see? Check it out. And it's got a different color. It's got obviously all the colors for the nine girls, which is pretty amazing. I really wish I had this at the concert. It would have been so much fun to have one of these. It was amazing how people, I'll just talk about that all in my next video. Cause I'm gonna make an anime, exper uh, anime expo experience video and I'm gonna make a love life concert experience video just to talk about how that went. And basically that ended up costing me $70. So as you can see, 35, 20, 20, 20, 20, 35, 10, 10, 70, we'll just say 20, 20, and I'm not done yet, hold up, where do I put this, I'll just put this in the bag right here, nice and chill, like I said, um, I gotta get the figures out for you guys, and I'm gonna open them up here, so, it's gonna be a bit of a longer video, but it's alright, so, as you can see, I got a figurine for Alice Shimada from Girls Unpansir, which is, Crazy how this is, I think, I believe the only one, uh, the only, it was the last one too, but it was the only figurine from Girls in Frontier that I believe I saw. 
Uh, of course, I didn't look too, too hard for them in particular, but it is one of the only ones that I did see. So let's go ahead and open it up and assemble it. Well, it's already kind of, it was already open because obviously it was on display for people to see. And I did get the last one. So let's go ahead and just pull her out. Here we go. Hold up. Here we go. I might have to clean this just a little bit, but you know, it's nothing too big. It's just a stand, right? So, let me see if I can figure this out. Yep, I can figure it out. I take it back. I can't figure this out. Hold up. All right, I'm gonna have to cut this part out as well. And ta-da, just like that, I actually uh, figured it out myself. Easy. So as you can see, uh, I believe it cost $35 uh, and I ended up getting this figure. It was the last one too because it was on display and the guy was looking for it, but he couldn't find it. So he's like, all right, I gotta put it in here. And it's not the first time he's done that. He's also had to do that with this figurine that I'm about to show. Ouch, my, my, my kneecaps, my kneecaps, my kneecaps. I'm laying, I'm on my knees on the floor, bro. This hurts, but I wish I had like a tripod or something and a table. I could have done this, like you know how most people do it. It'd be so much easier. But unfortunately, I don't have the space to buy any of that or like to put it anywhere. So I went ahead and bought this as well. Oh, it's gonna be a pain. Like I said, this one was also on display. You know what? I'm just gonna do the trick again. And just like that, I put it back together. So like I said, it was already on display. And uh, what's it called? I asked for this one and he tried to get me to buy another one, but I was like, are you sure you don't want this one? I'm like, uh, I'm positive. And the guy next to that, he's like, oh, okay. And then the guy next to me is like, good choice. He already knew uh, what the fuck was going on. And I was like, all right, cool. So I got that one. It was the last one. He had to put it in the box. So it didn't come from a box, like unopened and stuff like that. So it's already been opened. It's been it's been put out for display, but it's all right. It was only 35, so I was chilling. And for some reason, this is one of the few figures where the um, the figurines actually look a lot better than they do in the picture. Like in the picture, it looks kind of off, like the face and stuff like that. So if I was basing it just on the box itself, I probably wouldn't purchase it, but like up close, it actually looks really good. I think it's the color of her hair, just the color. Yeah, pretty much mostly the color of her hair and her face actually looks really well done in the figurine as it is instead of the box so that's the plus now do i have room to get the third one is a question oh hold up hold up i move alice a little bit more so uh, move her to the right oh yeah she comes from the monogatari series if you don't know uh what's it called and the third one i got is hanamaru from love Life sunshine as you can see um, it was debating between either, actually I was debating between Alice and, cause I, I for sure got, was gonna get Hanamaru, but I was debating between Hanamaru and, uh, Alice Shimano or, um, Hanamaru and, uh, Katori from Love Live. And I ended up going with Alice just because I have a lot of <laughs> Love Live merchandise, as you guys can see, obviously. Um, so I was like, you know what, get a bit more variety in terms of this. And I'm just gonna go ahead and set my phone down again and put this together. Go. All right, Dunzi, and as you can see, uh, it actually still has the sticker on it for $30 right here on the side, $30. And not only that, I opened the box just now, right now, and I found the ticket price, $30. This was what was on the box when I first saw it, so that's how I knew it was 30. And he actually put this inside the box, I don't know why, but I just thought that was kind of funny. And so basically, it's such a good figurine, honestly. Like, it just looks extremely well done, and so that's pretty much why I got Anamaru as well as the other ones because they just look really well done. There are a few like the, like the, like I said the box that the other one that he tried to get me to get was I didn't think it was very well done even though it was made by the same people who made Anamaru I just didn't think that one in particular was made well so uh, it's hot as hell honestly and so uh, where can I put this is the question uh, let me move my water bottle and then I can just put this up all right so the maximum all right, so the maximum recording time was reached. So that being said, this is all the stuff that I got from Anime Expo. It's not too much. Like I said, I would have bought a lot more if uh, my card didn't get declined three times. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I got. 
And yeah, so if you did enjoy, go ahead and leave a like. And I'll see you guys next time with my other videos. Goodbye.